Hey guys, welcome to my video. This is my debt confession. I went to a private college, private university, and I have a bunch of debt. So let's get started. This slide, I just found this picture online. I think the author's name is, you know, in the top right or left, whichever way it flips out to be. Um, but this is basically a little story and it rings true. I mean, I don't live with my parents, but um, the parents are like, hey, why is, your gen why is your generation so lazy? Like when I was young, we were like, we just went off and did our thing. And then the, and then the guy obviously has six figures of student loan debt. I mean, five figures of student loan debt. And I have five figures of student loan debt, which is r ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, back to the story. So he's saying, um, like, as you can see, he has a bunch of student loan debt. And the parents are like, well, you know, like, why are you, like, why do you want to come back home? Stuff like that. We started off with nothing and we made it. And the and the, the person is like, the student is like, I wish, I wish I had nothing. You know, like a zero net worth. I wish that were me as well, but it's not. <laughs> so this is just a quick little side just to, you know, ease my way into all the debt that you're about to see on this next slide. So this is all my debts, yay! <laughs> cry, cry, cry. Um, so, okay, let's just get started. The college, I still owe my college some money. I It's a blessing that I, because I went to nursing school. So I took my boards and, and in order to take your boards, you have to have your transcripts. And obviously I couldn't get my transcripts because I still owe money. So, um, they did this thing. They just allowed me to like apply for it, um, and like explain why and all these other things. My plan to pay off, pay it off, and you know all these you know stuff. So I told them, and they allowed my transcripts to be sent to the board of nursing, and I took my my boards and I passed. Yay! So now I'm a nurse. Woo! -hoo. Um, so I still owe them about five thousand eight hundred dollars. The average interest is about zero, and the monthly payment is about zero. But I mean, I have to pay this off to get my diploma. So I can't go back to school unless I, you know, pay this off. Um, I have three student loans, as you can see. Um, so I have a Fed loan, a Perkins loan, and a private student loan. So my Fed loan is about $35,500. The average interest is about 4 to 5%. And I have 12 different loans underneath, like within the Fed loan. So they're all different. And I'm not sure of my monthly payment because I'm still in the grace period. I graduated in August and my grace period ends next month, which is February. Like what the flying heck? That was such a quick time. But, you know, it is what it is. A Perkins loan is 5500 is 0% interest until 2020. Um, my monthly payment is about zero. So like I don't I don't pay for anything. It doesn't occur interest. And it's just it's just going to sit there really to be honest i'm not paying that i'm not doing i'm touching that mm -mm, not not being touched by me someone else if you want to donate you know go ahead but i'm not paying that off right now um private student loan is about fifteen thousand. at like to begin with it was twelve thousand, but you know interest <laughs> so it's about 11 percent the i don't know the monthly payment because again it's still in the grace period so it's about 300 i think it may be like 400 like 450 i'm not i don't know i'm not sure i can call them and ask but that's too much work and you know i'm a lazy millennial <laughs> so and then my phone i got my new phone about a week ago yeah about a week ago <laughs> and so my average interest is zero percent and my monthly payment is about 29 dollars. so yeah that is all my debts. I wish that it was zero. I wish this page was zero. I wish I started out with nothing in my like adult life, but that's not the way it is. And I mean, it is my debt. I did get education for it, so I gotta pay it off. So my goals for 2019 are super simple. Like this slide is super simple because I don't have time for complicated things. And if I know I'm not gonna hit a goal i'm not going to make it and i know these goals aren't very specific they want you to be like specific and timely and blah blah blah, 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 blah. like no i don't have time for all of this it's going to be as simple or as complicated as i want to make it and i want to make it simple so it is what it is <laughs> so my first point is paying off debt to college because i need to get my diploma 
I do. I, I need to get it. It's it's not like, you know, there's no if ands, or buts about it. I need to get my diploma. Um, and then my second bullet point is debt payoff and to grow or save money in my sinking funds. So if you don't know what sinking funds are, they are just having money set aside for whatever you decide, whatever you deem it necessary for. So some people have it for gifts. Some people have it for like Christmas. Some people have it for um, emergent, like their emergency fund technically is a sinking fund, like all these different things, you know. So I want to pay off my college and that's the debt payoff part. And then I want to grow my sinking funds because if stuff hits the fan and I have no money, I have no money. I'm not like my parents aren't that wealthy. I'm not like I don't have a lot of wealthy, like super wealthy friends. I'd be like, okay, here's a check for $10,000. I don't need it back. You know, like I don't have that. So I need to have enough money saved to support myself and that includes times of crappiness so yeah that's my goal for 2019 not that complicated but it is what it is okay here's the fun part like i like looking at this like you know it's colorful it's green green is money <laughs> okay let's just get into this slide so the first point is car repair and maintenance and this is my sinking fund goals as you can tell um, so I car repair and maintenance or anything to do with my car. Um, my goal is $1,500. Um, currently I have $25. I just started this whole saving financial whatnot. So I have like, as you can see currently, basically $0 in my sinking funds. Um, so for my car repair, I have 25. The difference is $1,475. Um, medical, I have zero. I don't even have a sinking fund like set up for medical yet. So my goal is $3,000 and I have zero. So my difference is $3,000. Um, and I want to have this because, you know, if I get hit by a car and I need to pay my deductible or my maximum out of pocket max or whatever, like I need, I need that money, you know? Um, and then rent and utilities, my goal is $500. And I, I have this not for rent because that doesn't even cover um, one month's rent. It's more so for utilities, but they come, they come out of the same savings account, like the same sinking fund account. So um, utilities in the summertime is higher because I live in Florida and it's hotter than life here in the summer. It's disgusting. Don't ever come here. Um, in the summertime, come in the winter or come in like November or February and that's it. Like November through February is fine. Everything else is crap. So do as you please. But you know, this is me. <laughs> um, so emergency fund, my goal is $3,000. Currently I have um, $110 in there. The difference is $2,890. Seriously, I need to have a large emergency fund three thousand dollars will cover about two months of expenses for me including like student loan payments and all that other stuff which hasn't kicked in yet um so I, and and i want it to actually be bigger than that but for the time being for my first goal for my emergency fund i want it to be three thousand dollars um gifts everyone wants a gift Everyone wants a Christmas gift. Everyone wants a birthday gift. Everyone wants an Easter and July 4th gift. <laughs> so I just want to save $200. Not all at one time. Like $10 a month or whatever is perfectly fine. Just to build it up to something. Um, personal wise and households, they're about 100 150 Personal, like I don't buy lotion every month. You know, like I don't. Like stuff like that. Like I don't get all this stuff all all at one time. So I just want to save up money so that if I'm like, hey, I want to get this, or I'm running low on toothpaste, or I need a new toothbrush or whatever, I can just pull it from there and I have it. And I'm not just like, oh my gosh, I don't have any money to buy toothpaste or whatever. Um, and then personal is also like clothes and stuff like that. But you know, as a broke college student, I, re I didn't really buy that much clothes. And you always get free clothes on campus, like free t-shirts from events and stuff like that. So, I mean, if I need to get clothes, I'll pull it from the personal account. Household, I just moved 
to Florida, <laughs> if you didn't know. Um, so I like need furniture. I have a bed, <laughs> so that's nice. Um, but my next thing that I want to get is a desk. So this household's maybe going up more depending on, you know, the prices around and whatnot, but that's what I want. I just want to have enough money to get like a desk or get like, I already have like a little table, but you know, just more things like we don't have a couch. <laughs> we have TV, but we don't have a couch. So just little things like that. So these are my goals. And um, will all of these happen in 2019? Probably not. Um, but stay tuned because I would like to do a year long budget video just to see where I like pan out at the end of the year. So when 2020, which is a crazy number to say, um, is going to come around like next year, December, basically in 11 months or 12 months from now, I would like to know where I stand, you know? So stay tuned for that video. It should be coming up soon. I'm not sure when, but it should be coming up soon. So if everything goes to plan, I will have $8,450 um, in my savings account. Uh, will all this happen? We'll see. Hopefully, don't forget to check out that year long budget video. It will be coming out soon. Um, but this is the projected plan to have this just sitting in a bank and it will be higher than this probably. Um, but to start so to start off with, I want this amount just chilling at a bank, just sitting there. Happy New Year! I just wanted to end the video off by saying Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas. Uh, I don't know any other holidays. <laughs> Um, but just happy new year with lights and fireworks and streamers and everything. Um, welcome to January. <laughs> um, I know it can be a hard time for some people and just know that my prayers are with you guys. But thank you for watching this video until the very, very end. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. I'm Jaquise. Thanks for watching. Bye.